Hi guys, PJ here, back with another new release. This one being Wolfenstein 2, and may I just say, this game has been hell for me trying to get working. I've had all sorts of problems with it. Install the latest drivers, no, still wouldn't load. Put some old drivers back on, wouldn't load. You name it, I've had problems. Turns out the problem being with these, uh, this particular game is you have to disable onboard graphics at the BIOS level. Otherwise it conflicts with your GPU and your game won't load. Hey ho. So on with options and settings. On this game, I'm just going to quickly move myself to the far corner there. There we go. Not my normal uh, position there for the, uh, the video. But as you can see, I'm having to use the in-game uh, detailed information as to what it's sort of using. Reason being MSI Afterburner. It just doesn't work with it. Well, it doesn't work for me. I mean, I was looking to get the actual game working, let alone the uh, the overlay. It doesn't seem to like overlays at all. So let's get into these options, see what the game has to offer. It's a Vulcan game, as you can see by the uh, right-hand side there. So no, no direct text or anything like that to worry about. Normally runs very, very well. System I'm still using, still beavering along on an 8350, FX8350 at 4.2, eight core CPU pretty old now I must admit and I've got an R9 290X which is also the problem as to why this uh, game wouldn't load because to keep the card running at full speed I have to, use, have to use an older driver if I use one of the newer drivers it locks it down to 150 and 300 megahertz so 150 mem 300 megahertz core it's a bug it's a well-known bug and it affects a lot of the R9 cards not really any way around it you can reset the drivers and stuff still doesn't work on my card so uh, until I get my Ryzen system fully built, which I'm doing at the moment, a bit of a workaround to get this working. So, without further ado, let's get on with this. So, options. We'll go straight to control. There you go. There's all your options. You've got a controller layout there, as well as key bindings. I mean, key bindings is your standard WSAD type stuff, to be honest with you. There you go. Feel free to pause the video if you want to look at these in detail. Uh, okay, all the way to the bottom there. And we've got controller layout, right-handed layout, alternate right-handed layout, left-handed Guzman, and right-handed, there you go. Different, isn't it? Uh, what else have we got? Horizontal sensitivity, vertical, vibrate on and off, look axis, uh, invert rather. Yeah, you don't, don't do any of that. It's flying games, I normally invert that. I don't know about you guys. Mouse sensitivity, toggle sprint, on and off. Now we have audio. This is weird because I was expecting a headset setting here. No. We have cinema, hi-fi, TV. That's it. It just basically alters the, alters the tone level between each one. So no, no specific headset. Um, as for surround sound, I've only got it running on a 2.1 system. I am reliably informed that this does work on 5.1 surround, however that was a friend of mine with the Xbox version and he got it plugged in a DTS amp. So anybody any feedback on the PC version, if you've got the game working for a start, let me know if you've got surround sound plugged in and it works, drop it in the comments below, be appreciated. Okay so video is the big one. Now this game goes far and above the level of the older games with its graphics, it borrows a lot from Doom. PC version, um, it seems to be very well optimised in certain cases, okay? Now I'm running ultra wide here, and the game itself does run in ultra wide. It's just the menu that's got the black bars each side. I can tell you straight off the bat, the, the worst version of the game, if you're thinking of which platform to buy it on, the Xbox One version is 810p, so it is a bit smudged, a bit blurry, but still plays very well. It is a 60 frames per second game. It tries to stick to that, obviously, on the consoles it does dip below that, bear that in mind. Um, PS4, 1080p, does seem to stick there, it's not adjustable resolution or anything like that. PS4 Pro, uh, 1440p, so 2.5k if you like, um, no adaptive res on it or anything like that, but it does have, also have improved shadows and um, improved texture filtering and stuff like that, so the image looks sharper, crisper nicer um, and then there's the PC version which let's face it depends on your PC 
you guys out there with the GTX 1060 or RX 580, 480 or above, yeah, you'll have a field day with this game, it'll be fine. Some people with the older Intel CPUs, um, i5 CPUs, will have stuttering because the CPU usage goes quite high on it. But hey, try it. So, video quality profile on custom, okay? You've got your normal low, medium, high, etc. Uh, so, you've also got this one, these two at the bottom. You've got Uber and Meanly Bean, however you pronounce that, I don't really know. So anyway, uh, depending what screen you're running it on, you can run it on one or two monitors, etc. Split between the two. Sometimes mine shows the TV if we've got it plugged in the TV. Aspect ratio, 16 by 10. No. 21 by 9. There's your ratios. Uh, resolutions. This monitor only supports this resolution. Uh, so there we go, that's fixed. Obviously, normally you've got all the way down to... Let's have a quick look. 16 by 9, I think it goes down to... Yeah, 648p. That's your lowest. Yes, it is. That's your lowest. Let's just change this back again. Uh, windowed, full screen, and borderless, as usual, for that mode. V Sync on and off. This is a free sync monitor, so I'll keep it off. You just got on and off, nothing more. Motion blur, on and off. Anti aliasing. There's your options for that one. Quite a few there, as you can see. Uh, colorblind mode on and off. Advanced settings. Yes, I want to upset those settings. Thank you. Here we go. Now this is this is a mix. I haven't actually run the game yet properly, um, so these settings are all mixed up at the moment. We'll do that in a sec. Field of view. Um, console default there being 90. I'll leave it on 90. You know the width of what you can see, sort of thing. As you can see, default Xbox One controller. Not a problem there. Keyboard mouse, of course. Lighting, we have low, medium, high, ultra. Shadows, low, medium, high, ultra, and uber. This game can get pretty intense, so I don't know how far we'll be able to push things. We'll see. Particles, low, medium, high, ultra. Uh, directional occlusion, let's have a look. Off, we do have an off setting there, look. Move it on high. Reflections, all the way up to ultra. And decals, what we got there, ultra, down to medium, medium being your lowest, yeah. Motion blur, medium being your lowest again, high and ultra. Image streaming, there we go, we do have ultra and uber above the one I'm using. Water quality, there you go, up to ultra. And volumetric quality, medium and high. Now I don't know if that's going to depend on VRAM because I have a 4 gigabyte VRAM card. So you guys that have got your 6 and 8 gigabyte VRAM cards, you may have a few more options there. I think I'm hitting the ceiling of the memory on that. So material and so filter. We've got anastropic. Oh, anastropic is short for anastropic, isn't it? Aniso. Never really heard it cooked up before. Anyway, 16 is your max as you'd expect, yeah. Same for all of them. I think let's just check. Oh no, four. We've got trilinear on that one on your light maps. Okay. Decal. Yeah, 16. Image. Uh, up to 16 again. LOD switch. Low, medium, high, ultra. Deferred rendering on and off. We'll leave that one off. Can be a bit taxing, that one. GPU culling on and off, async compute on and off, uh, your AMD cards are async cards, so uh, we'll leave that one on. Chromatic abbreviation, it's that horrible yellowy blue fuzz that it puts around everything, I leave that off, don't like the look of it. Depth of field on, DOF anti-aliasing on, HDR bloom on, uh, HDR does work very well on this. I've got the Windows Creator update installed and it actually works at the moment. Yeah, I need to touch wood or something now. <laughs> okay, sharpening. Film grain, turn that off. Don't like that. Video is going a bit funny here, a bit slow. Resolution scale off. Show performance metrics full thing on the right hand side. That's that. And that is all of your options. Gameplay. Hold on and off, tutorials on, subtitles foreign only. Obviously you can change that to all or off. Uh, turn those off, 
be done. Right, let's go to continue game. Before I go any further, as I was mentioning, I've had a problem running this game. I've still got a problem. My video overlay software, Ready on Relive, as you can see, makes the video stutter. I give up. The video will stutter. The you know the audio is fine. So let's carry on. Let's see, see what the game looks like with my settings and see what VRAM and everything it uses. Okay, so let's load the game. It's only installed on a 7200 drive, not an SSD. So loading times will be a bit slower. We have defaulted back to 16B10 and I don't know why. Okay. Is that going to work? Yes, that's better. Okay, so. Oh god, frame rate's all over the place. I'm seeing 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Right at the start of the game, this guy's. We are waking up from the previous game, I think, getting injured. And we're in a wheelchair, so I think we're going to borrow this guy's gun. So what we got? CPU going in the red occasionally, like I say, it is an older one though. GPU. There's a bit of headroom there on GPU. We, we could probably push this game a little bit, bit higher. We've got 80 odd frames per second. Okay. Seems fluid and smooth. No problem there. Keep picking up bullets. I'm not going to play too much of the game because at the end of the day, it's just a, a tu you know a sort of tutorial on having a look at the options and settings. Well, not really a tutorial, but an in-depth look if you like. Can we pick the helmet up? No, no, I don't think we can. There's a gun. I love that. So performance very good. Let's knock it up a, a level, yeah. I can't tell you how much VRAM it's using, but I'm guessing it's going to be a lot soon as we keep tipping it. GPU, yeah, we're using a fair bit. So let's go and turn some of this stuff up. What's going to make the most impact, guys? Shadows. Should we go to Uber and see if we can screw everything up? Okay. Image streaming. Volumetric qualities are in Uber. No. Okay. Particles are on high. Is there a there is an ultra. Let's go ultra with that one. And that would probably do. Apply changes. Accept. Let's see if we can see if we killed the game. Twenty nine frames per second. Lighting looks great, but I'm dead, so that doesn't really help. Does it? This video is going well. <clears throat> okay. I'm pretty sure the frame rate there was nowhere near, so I think Uber shadows have killed it. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, look at that, guys. What a hit. We are right down on the FPS. That's not playable. Let's change that back to something a bit more realistic. I won't harp on this too long. You know, at the end of the day, I'm sure you guys want to try it out yourself. Uber no good. We'll go Ultra. Ah, that made a bit of difference. See that FPS shoot up even in the menu. Okay, let's go. 57. 50. Forty-seven. No, we need a lock sixty really. You ain't getting it back. Nope. Still not good enough. Although the, you know, certainly the Xbox One drops down to the mid 40s in FPS, uh, we don't really want that. It does impact your gameplay. Um, you know, a lot of people will likely be playing this on PS4 Pro or when it comes out, Xbox One X. Uh, either of those two sort of play it at the correct 60. So, 
what else did I turn up? Can't remember. Particles. We'll leave that. We'll put shadows back down to high. There we go. It is. It's shadows are having a pretty big. Unless Doff does it as well. So look at Doff. Uh, you can normally tell what stuff's going to do this sort of thing if you've done a lot, a lot of messing around with your games, which I have over the years. Doff. Doff for field. No, we can't turn it down. We can only turn it off. Not keen on doing that, to be honest. So we turn volumetric to medium. Shadows to Huldra. Apply. I think, think that'll hold. And doubtful. No, we're still looking in the mid 50s here rather than the 60s. It definitely is shadows, guys. We're going to have to go and change them back down to high. We'll put volumetric quality back up again though. There we go. So I think for me and anybody else who's got a 4 gigabyte card, R9390 or RX480, 580, with this sort of GPU, this is what you're looking at. Let's play a little bit of it. 51 frames per second. Eh, it's very twitchy, isn't it? I'm going to have to have a bit more of a play to get the locked 60. Game does look really nice though. I mean, check that out. It is nice looking. Pick the bullets up. No, we can't go upstairs in a wheelchair, can we? Can we go down? There's a lift. What's that? Can't reach it. So, CPU in the red pretty much all the time, which shows the age of this CPU. It's not doing too good at all. That's a glass screen, we're not going to shoot through that. They are, though. Stop! 41 frames per second, a lot going on in this image. Ooh, we're going to have to drop that down. Right, it's loading, that's good enough. I think, guys, that can conclude this video. You've got a feel of what it's like on uh, older AMD cards there. CPU, if you've got an FX one, you're going to start thinking about them Ryzen upgrades. Thanks a lot for watching. And bye for now.